Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like at a clock again. Did I scare you? I was pretty close to the screen there. <laughs> Happy New Year! Oh, we're so excited for New Year. We've got um, all the Pearls of Wisdom necklaces are, are all over the uh, environment. Um, we're we're getting more made. Don't worry about it. Yeah, the, the demand is high this time of year. We can't keep up with them. We're getting calls from the Costco, the Sears, Walmart, 7-Eleven, everywhere. And we're just like, we can't keep up. We can't keep up. Melissa's running herself ragged. She needs a rest. She needs, she's barely getting, she's not even getting her 14 naps in a day. In fact, I'm going to have to shut her down. You're just going to have to wait. I'm sorry. There's nothing we can do. You're going to have to wait till after the New Year's. And we'll get back on schedule again. Bye again. You know, send in your uh, applications for helicopter driving. And uh, we'll carefully consider them. Anyways, boys and girls, uh, we have... Well, we, yesterday we were right on with the Pittsburgh game. I hope you were betting on that. Randy K said he put on a small bet. And Randy K said something else. He said, uh, smash that like button. I, yeah, that's a good idea. Smash the like button if you like it. I mean, don't just do it out of charity. It's like, all right, fine, I'll hit. No, but if you actually like the video, because like we've got, I think we're getting like hundreds of views, which is wonderful. I'm happy for every one of you. We're gonna get to thousands and millions eventually, but if we get hundreds of views and we only have 11 likes, that means that there's like a lot of hundreds of people watching this that don't like it. That's weird. <laughs> That's really weird. Actually, I'm sure you like it, but we if you let everybody know, there'll be more people in our environment to like it with us. And we're gonna create that beautiful energy. Uh, well, we're gonna grow the beautiful energy that we have because we are connected to Namaste, our divines. Namaste. That's how I say I'm connected. We're all connected to our divines. You didn't know that, did you? Yep, that guy or that you see at the... At the bus stop, connected. The boss you don't like, connected. The, uh, hey, his name, Donald Trump. We are connected to his divine. I know. I know. I was thinking the same thing. I didn't know. I found out. I found out. Somebody pointed it out to me, and I was like, really? And I go, yep, that's the truth. So now you know. So we're, uh, okay. New Year's Day, we've got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, fine pearls to make because we're going to be 100%. This is a hundred. Okay, we're going to do 100% pearls here. here. Just let me go into the pearl basket. I got a basket here full of the pearls. You can't see the basket. <laughs> They're not allowed. Helen made it. Helen is the one that lets me use this environment. She made me a little basket. It says pearl basket. and But she doesn't want people to see it because... Um, it's, it's, it's secret. It's between her and I. Yeah. Here we go. Double fister. New Year's pearls coming into your environment. Wow. Floating around there pretty good. Here's some more. Feel that? That's that's what we're talking living right there. <laughs> okay, so um, Doug Masta was has been wonderful down there in the comment section. It makes sure uh, extra dose of pearls to you, sir. Like I just mentioned about Randy K. Haven't talked. Richie Rich wasn't available yesterday. I don't know why. Where are you, Richie? Make sure you're talking. Uh, Paul Saladino, fellow from Italy, who watches the, who 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 watches this fine programming. Happy New Year's to you. Um, what did we have? I, I was going to write down her name. Karen, I believe it was. Please, if, I, if I've got it wrong, forgive me and put down the comment section, ma'am. Uh, miss, miss, ma'am. Do you like that? Just person. Um, she did a nine, 
uh, PL not a nine uh, PL parlay or something like that, and nailed it. And then she said, I love your programming. Can't wait for the picks for tomorrow. Well, I love your programming too, whatever that is. And I don't know why I didn't write your name down because it's not right. It's not right. I think it was Karen, but that is freaking awesome. And that's the kind of fine, that's the kind of thing that happens when we engage in the fine pearls programming that's brought to you daily here, boys and girls. Yeah. Okay, New Year's Day, final day. We're going to go uh, look at some, look at our picks here. Leafs versus Wild. Um, I love the Wild energy. I really do. Their try, their effort, and all of that. And I believe somebody just oneness guy, whatever. I call him the oneness guy. It's one, I can't understand what he's saying. You can go in the comment section. He thinks it's going to be a dog day today. Uh, I don't think so. I, I have a feeling that home, the home team has the advantage here at New Year's. I just think they're playing more in their, like, I don't know. I just have that feeling that the home team has the advantage here. Uh, I have reasons for that, but this is a long video already. So Leafs 4-2, assuming Anderson is in net. I can't see why he wouldn't be. Uh, Dubnik is going to be enough for the Wild. I could see maybe 4-3. I could see an over here. And also, I wouldn't be... Uh, I, I wouldn't go against the Wild on the puck line if you're getting a goal and a half, for sure. Um, Bolts versus the Sabres. I don't really like this game. I like the Sabres at home because they're at home. The Bolts have been playing very well, though. Problem is with the Sabres is goaltending. And Vasilevsky has been... Eh. I'm leaning to the Bolts 3-2, but I'm really not confident about this game. Really not confident. Uh, Habs versus the Canes. Habs have been playing three games in four nights. Now, that for the Habs actually hasn't really been a problem for them. I think it is going to be a problem for them tonight, though. Um... I can't remember. They played Florida, Tampa Bay, and now they went to Carolina. Of course, they had a day off in between. Um, a lot of it has to do with the goaltending with the Canes. Now, I was saying before that if Reimer's in net, I'm going with the Canes, but Reimer's not playing well either. Neither goaltender is playing well. This smells like an over. Price isn't playing well. I th I'm taking the Canes 4-3. Percentage? like 55 percent percentage on the Leafs wild I'm giving a, I'm, I'm feeling really good about the Leafs I'm giving them 60 percent um bolts sabers I'm saying 55 percent bolts I'm just uneasy about it I can see why you would bet them because they're playing really well for some reason there's something in me something down in there you know in the lower half area where there's things that happen that doesn't feel right about it um, Panthers versus the Jackets. Merzlikens in for the Jackets. This is my game of the night. I'm taking the Panthers in regulation. And, uh, I could go on over here, except that the Jackets are not a very offensive team. They're probably going to be playing very defensive on the fact that Merzlikens is in because their number one goaltender is injured for a long time. By the way, the Blue Jackets season Torts is a great coach, but if you have basically no goaltending whatsoever, there you are in big trouble, and that's what's happened now. I'm taking the Panthers 4-1. Uh, Sharks versus the Wings. I would highly, strongly consider taking the Wings on the puck line here. Maybe even ML. I could see the Wings winning this game. I'm not putting this on a heavy Sharks. I'm saying Sharks money line 3-2, certainly not in regulation. Um, with Jones and net depends on the goaltender for the wings. I'm seeing that Howard's back. If Howard is back, I could definitely see the King wings winning this game. I would put some small pearls on the wings here just in case, uh, but definitely on the puck line. I would highly suggest the puck line for that. Uh, Jets versus the Avalanche. The Jets are coming to earth and realizing that the injuries to their defense, they cannot sustain that over a long season. And it's starting to wear on a lot of guys that probably shouldn't be in that lineup. 
uh, and the Avalanche are the Avalanche. They're insane. So I'm taking the Avalanche, and because Hellebuck is in net, I'm saying 3-1, but I could see like 5-1, 5-2 here, uh, assuming Hellebuck isn't up to par. Um, plus the Avalanche are at home, and I'm thinking that on New Year's, the home team is going to have the advantage. The reason why I say that, I will tell you that, all the players on the road right now, their minds somewhat are going to be on the getting home for New Year's. There's going to be that thought there. And especially for good teams, uh, like, for instance, the Sharks and the Wings, uh, the Sharks aren't really good. But uh, for teams that, how do I say it? They're, they're good on paper, but their mental state doesn't seem to be there like the Sharks. They could... Definitely take the wings not serious enough here and be thinking about going home uh, for sure. Or what's another one? Um, it's possible with the Leafs and Wild as well uh, that they could be thinking ahead to New Year's and stuff like that. That's why I say Wild and the money puck line is probably not a bad idea. Um, Flyers versus the Kings. I take Kings on the puck line here. The Flyers have just played a heck of a lot of hockey. This is their third game in four nights as well. Um, I believe Hart is going to be in net, though. I got to take the Flyers to win, I suppose. But the main pick is Kings in the puck line. That's what I would definitely take. Uh, Hawks versus the Flames. These are two inconsistent teams. I don't like betting this. Um, Laner is going to be in net. This could be over for either side. Riddich didn't play well last game. Uh, Laner always keeps the Hawks in it. Um, if you're getting really good money for Hawks in the puck line, probably not a bad call here, but I think I would avoid this altogether. The, the Hawks could win this 5-1. The Flames could win this 5-1. And I can make a case for both. So probably best to fade. Uh, Rangers versus the Oilers. The Oilers look defeated, totally defeated. I've been saying this a while that you cannot run with only two players and no depth whatsoever. They've been waiting for depth, and it seems like they're going, well, we're screwed. <laughs> I don't, they don't even look like they like each other right now. It's really not good. Um, Oilers being at home, I think they're just kind of getting, I don't know. I'm taking the Rangers 4 1. Like, I really don't like the Oilers' energy right now. Uh, Blues versus the Yotes. I was saying about the whole situation. Is is it true that his energy just messes up rooms? It seems to be happening. And against a road team like the Blues that just kick ass in any circumstances, I don't know if there's much better of a coach team than the St. Louis Blues right now with Craig Berube. They are... They have so much depth throughout their lineup. They can play any way you give them. And with the team like the Yotes, they seem to be adapting to Hall. And they've got some fairly sized egos like Kessel now and Hall in their lineup. I don't feel good about the Yotes winning this game. I didn't feel good about the Yotes winning against Dallas, but I picked the Yotes. And uh, I wish I didn't. So, I'm taking the Blues. 3-2. Um... I almost want to say this is one of my games of the night, um, but I'm not going to. I will say under. Blues in the under. So, um, what was my game of the night? I think I said that already. Uh, Panthers. Panthers over the Jackets. Take the Panthers in regulation. That's my game of the night. That should give you the biggest money. I'm, we're, New Year's is come. New Year's, now we are going to see, now the, the, the new era of the pearls of wisdom, our pearls of wisdom. I'm going to say, why do I call it my pearls of wisdom? Our pearls of wisdom. I'm going to try to change that on the YouTube there. I think that's what it needs to be now. Because we are going to, to, to turn this greatness into abundance everywhere. It's going to be so beautiful. It's so lovely pearls flying everywhere out the windows of all the SUVs and Hummers and stuff that we have and we got planes and we're going to hockey games and people are swimming in pearls is going to be amazing it already is amazing I love you guys have a happy new year 
Uh, subscribe bell if you can. If you can, of course you can. You got this. You got one of these, right? If you got one of these, you can do it. See, you just got to go like that.